up Bloody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 588. So um, last chapter we got to kind of see the aftermath of um, the previous day and um, it is just insane and I love what Shin did. I love that he went to the um, uh, to the Koko, uh, wait, Gyokoho uh, camp and basically told him Ohan's not going to die you guys need to chill the fuck out. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. The High Shin Unit has no plan on retreating, and this chapter is titled, um, Right Wing's Headquarters. Um, uh, I guess it's done, right? Um, split it properly, man. This one's missing a bit. I am. It's mostly hot water, huh? Just shut up and eat. Well, down the hatch. Sip, sip. Sigh, it finally reached a point where you can't, can't even taste it. Just like drinking hot water. Sip, sigh. And they only passed out this puny amount of horse meat, too. Surely there were way more dead horses today, right? Yeah, but those Zao bastards started um, busting out this weird powder when they fell back. Huh, really? No idea what it was, but it stank like crazy. Some smelly powder? Um, you didn't hear? Kyogai-san uh, lost a bunch of his men because of that stuff. Loads of others um, are out of action because of stomach aches, too. Uh, and is this meat we're eating safe? That's probably from our horses, so yeah, but every horse that gets um, eaten means a pre uh, precious battlefield uh, resource that has been lost. Lieutenant said, um, oh, sorry, Lieutenant N said, this means that even if we're fighting, we, uh, even if we weren't fighting, we'd be coming up to the end of our rope already. Uh, sure, but is this even going to give us the strength to fight tomorrow? Maybe we should uh, throw in a bit more of our stash? Nah, do that and we won't have anything to eat at all tomorrow. It might not seem like much, uh, but this includes uh, Jikurai Sai and um, uh, Hukum, wait, Hukuma, uh, Hukuman's portions. There we go. All the guys that died today. G shit. But didn't Ohan get defeated today? Maybe tomorrow will be our last day anyway. Cool. Why are you always saying these depressing things? Ow, but cut it out, Bihei. You're just wasting your energy. Still, he's got a point. Who'd have thought even Owen would get taken out? Yeah. Hmm? Horses? <gasps> my boy Akake just showed up. That's my boy Akake. What's going on? They're not high shin unit, are they? <laughs> it doesn't look like they're, our, they're enemies either. I'm Danz, uh, Danza, standing commander of the Akao army. Why wasn't it a Kaken? Just why? Um, is this the Haishin unit's campgrounds? Huh? The Akao army? Standing commander? Doesn't that mean he's the highest ranked guy in the right wing? Answer me. But yes, sir. That's right, sir. Shin's tent is just up ahead. Uh, you imbecile. What kind of fool would so easily reveal his commanding officer's whereabouts? Hey, sorry, sir. But you have my thanks. Pardon us. Huh? Let's go. Hua. Huh. Kiki. B.A., whoa, more cavalry? Ah, it's the lieutenant this time. Was that the officers from uh, the cow army just now? Seemed like it. I came to, um, to meet them, but it appears I was too late. You knew they were coming? What's going on, Lieutenant? Why are the Akao Army's top brass coming over to us? It's not just the Akao Army. The Gyokoho's officers are ga currently gathered at our headquarters as well. What? Lieutenant, what the heck's happening there? Why are all those big shots suddenly coming over to visit us? We're reorganizing the right wing, huh? We're setting up the High Shin Unit to be the right uh, wing's main headquarters so that from tomorrow onwards, the right wing can fight with the High Shin Unit as its core. <gasps> huh? Yes! Um, thank you for coming, Standing uh, Commander Danza. Reluctant as I was to come, I felt I owed you... Um, and your passionate plea as much, ba uh, Banyo. I'm here be because I wanted to discuss with the Gyokoho how we're going to beat Zhao's left wing tomorrow. Wait, Shin, if that's the case, then it should not just be our two groups. We should also include the Akao army in this discussion. I'll try and convince their officers to come and join us in this meeting. The location will be at your tent. Looks like ba uh, Banyo is a smarter man than I gave him credit for. <laughs> I love you, Kaken. And uh, what's with that reluctant crap standing commander? After all, this isn't a bad idea at all. Now let's hear it, Shin of the High Shin Unit. From this moment on, this will be the right wing's main headquarters. In other words, the commander of our entire right wing is none other than you. <gasps> yes, yes. Um, uh, that all right with you, Ten? I see. If Shindo no, um, is to become the right wing's commander, then Karyoten will in turn also become the right wing's strategist, and on her so shoulders will rest the heavy responsibility that comes with it. What other choice do we have? 
good. Now let's get this meeting started so we can destroy the Zao tomorrow. Ooh. Um, Center Army Osin HQ, report another up update on the young lord. Let me see. Um, uh, apart from him still being alive, they have not said anything else. We've received a report elsewhere stating that one of the Haishin unit's lieutenants is treating his wounds. Huh? What in the name of? Report, the right wing appears to have started something of their own accord. What? Uh, what are they up to? It seems to be something involving moving the main hor ha bleh, some wordings. Something um, involving moving the main headquarters over to the Haishin unit. What do you mean? Er, I believe they intend to appoint Shin of the Haishin unit as commander without our approval. What did you say? Oh... Um, this would be, not be uh, the only significant event to occur on this evening of the 13th day. The stirrings of another would take place not far away. Gyo, inside the city walls. Ah, uh, that's right. Did you hear about that thing with Takuda? Hmm? Takuda, who got hurt real bad? Don't tell me he kicked the bucket or something. Nah, nothing like that. It happened last night, actually. Old Shoyo happened to um, pass by the area where uh, all the wounded are being kept. And he says he saw Takuda awake. Oh? Guess he's feeling better then. Uh, wasn't his face so messed up it was covered in bandages? Nah, here's the weird part. So Takuda had taken his bandages off so you could see his, fa uh, his face, yeah? But he said that it wasn't Takuda's face underneath. It was a completely different guy. Huh? A different guy? You mean we got him mixed up with someone else after coming to Gyo? No, can't be. Oh my god. Oh, no fucking way. We've been carrying him all this way since we first set out for Gyo while, all, while thinking he was Takuda. Since... Um, we've been with him since we uh, first left the city of Seki, which means by the time uh, we first set off with Gyo with our wounded after being attacked by the Yosin army, that guy already wasn't the Takuda we kn um, knew. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Takuda we know, there we go. Then who the hell is this guy? Do I look like I know? Then why don't you uh, just go ask this fake Takuda guy himself? That was the plan, but he couldn't be found anymore. He was gone, probably because uh, Shoyo saw his face. What? That's it? What kind of boring ending is that? Well, let me finish. That's not the end of the weirdness. It turns out this isn't a uh, one-off case. Seems like there's been similar cases with the refugees from the other cities, too. Oh my god, if that is who... Cocky, is this your plan? Um, people with face, uh, wounded faces turning out to be strangers, huh? We don't know how many of them are, but... Right now in Gyo, there's a bunch of strangers among us who are completely different people from who we thought them to be. Oh my god, this, this has got to be cocky. This has got to be cocky. This is either Osin or cocky, but my guess is this is some cocky shit. Cocky is trolling, y'all. Oh my god. I'm ready for this. I am ready for cocky's trolling. I've been waiting for cocky's trolling because we ain't seeing Osin trolling, so we need to see some cocky trolling. I'm ready for that shit. I'm ready. I I, I have a love hate relationship with cocky. He's an asshole, but fuck, I love his trolling. Um, anyway, this chapter was great because now Shin is leading the right wing, and I'm so fucking happy for Shin. He deserves it. He busted his ass for this shit. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter, and are you ready for more trolling from the one and only Conky? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Sync if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more kingdom greatness, especially on time. There's a few ways you could do that. You could join to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off the Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Remy, on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!